And welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood, folks. And Adrian told me I have a few minutes to give you all some upcoming things that are going to be happening. I want to thank Jennifer Aislinger for being on with me today uh, to talk about junior achievement. And any of you all watching the program today that are interested in junior achievement, then please give them a call. The phone numbers that she told you are junioracheivementoftheokoyriver.com. Uh, you can get some information there about things that are going on. Now, the guys here at the studio always fuss at me because I don't promote the Red Ribbon as much as I should. But, you know, I, I get to talking about that, and I might not have some other things to tell you all. But I will tell you this. Starting tomorrow, the 11th of July, I will be having Christmas in July at the Red Ribbon. And because of my school board uh, things that I have to do for the school board sometimes and also other things that go on in my life, I tried to work a schedule around my customers of what week they wanted to have Christmas in July and what week they didn't, and it got real hectic. So here's what I'm doing. I'm starting tomorrow, July the 11th, and we will have Christmas in July for the month of July, and we will have the 12 days plus two days of Christmas in July. Now, I'm there on Monday through Friday from 10 to 3, and it's 270 Central Avenue, Northwest, and you can give me a call at 473-1114 to be sure I am there. Now, I will be glad to open on Saturdays during this month if anybody's interested in me coming in. I don't want to come in and sit there from 10 until 3 and nobody show up on a Saturday when I could be doing other things like this coming Saturday watching the finals of Wimbledon. So uh, just let me know if you want me to come in. And also... Uh, I will not be there on the 19th through the 21st. The shop will be closed the 19th through the 21st because I will be at a school board function out of town. And so that the, that's the reason trying to work this Christmas in July got kind of uh, cockeyed. And so, and customers saying, oh, I won't be here that week. I'm going to be on vacation. So starting tomorrow, July the 11th, we will have Christmas in July, the month of July. Now, all the Jim Shore is 50% off. Buyer's Choice Carolers are going to be uh, 35% off, not, not including the accessories. And most of the ornaments are 50% off, and other Christmas items are 50% off. So you want to come by the Red Ribbon and do some Christmas shopping, and I'll be glad to help you with your Christmas shopping. Also, all the spring wear and the hats, summer and spring wear, and the hats are 50% off. So this is a great time to come by the Red Ribbon and shop. 270 Central Avenue, North East, Northwest, I'm sorry, or 423-473-1114. Now, we have several things that are happening. I want to remind you about the library again has their free feeding on Wednesdays from 1 until 2.30. And then if you hang around after lunch, you can see a movie or play games or various things are going on at the library. And that is your library. And it's the one on downtown on Okoy Street. Marvelous, marvelous opportunity. Ages birth to 18, free meal. Now, if you want to bring your children for the free meal, you can either pack you a little sack lunch because we're, they're not feeding adults, or you can buy a sandwich there at their cafe. But from 1 to 2.30 is free meals. Now... They have the Runaway Puppets coming up on July 17th at 3.30. Melody's Musical Mishap. Melody is a young girl who can't seem to pay attention in music class. Oh, that was my favorite class. She doesn't see the point in learning about composers and music notations and all that stuff. Honestly, why does she need to learn about music anyway? And so that's July 17th at 3.30 at the library in the community center. Folks, it's amazing what learning music can do to help you in other subjects. They have all kinds of things that go on there, but I'm just hitting the highlights because Andrew will be on with us at the next show to tell you the more detailed. But on uh, Wednesday the 11th in the community room, I think that Wednesday is maybe the 12th. I'm, anyway, in the community room on Wednesday will be the showing of The Lion King, and that's a G movie so come and see it at 2 p.m. and hang around after the movie for board games and uh, and we on the big screen and then uh, on Tuesday the 10th and that's right I had the date wrong 
Anyway, for my shop. shop. But anyway, on July the 10th at 2.30, the adult movie matinee is Beauty and the Beast, and that's PG. And that's starring Dan Stevens and Emma Watson. Uh, so that will be on the 10th. And at 7 o'clock, also on the 10th, will be Storytelling Guild's regular meeting in the community room. And the, you're welcome to come. The public is welcome to come and hear the stories they tell, which are fantastic. They do the storytelling part first, and then they have their business session. Because if you're not a member, you don't want to stay for anything as boring as a business section. But you do want to come and hear the stories. And, and they, there's some fantastic storytellers. And as you well know, I've had Judy Baker on here several times, and she's a She's a regionally known and maybe even nationally now known storyteller, and they tell really, really good stories. And so that, that's what's happening uh, around right now that I know. <clears throat> now, I have some other things, and folks, you know, when you send me something on Facebook or when, you, when something pops up on Facebook and I put interested, and then it shows up as things I'm supposed to do that day, that's fine. But if it doesn't have a phone number or who's doing it or anything like that. So let me just tell you some things, and then I'll let you all go on Facebook and see if you can find them. And if you don't have Facebook, that's what I try to stress to some of these businesses. Not everybody does Facebook. Not everybody has a computer. Not everybody takes the Cleveland banner, and not everybody watches this show. But somewhere, surely, in that, in that quadrangle, we could find some way to let you know about this. There's a patriotic paint party tomorrow night at 5.30 at the Bond Life Coffee. You need a ticket for that, so that, that means there is a price. And you can call Bond Life at 464-6160. Then the art of hand letter, lettering is also tomorrow evening at 6.15 at the Clayful Artist. And you need tickets for that. So you can go to the Clayful, C-L-A-Y-F-U-L, Artist on Facebook and see about that. Then the museum is having ballroom dancing night on the 12th from 6 to 8. You need tickets for that, but normally if you're a, muse if you're a museum member, your, your ticket is less than a non-member ticket would be. So for more information on that, 339-5745 or go to museumcenter.org and see more about that. Then on Wednesday, we have wine and canvas at Jenkins from 6.30 to 8.30. Tickets are needed for that, too. The only number I have for you to call is Jenkins to ask, 478-1648. Now, Josh Morrison told me about this, and I thought he was going to try to get me somebody on to tell you all about this. But I think it's Saturday, July the 14th, Doyle Dykes, wonderful guitarist, wonderful guitarist. And when I say he can make it talk, he can make that guitar talk. But he is fantastic. First Baptist Church is sponsoring him in concert. And I think it's at the Brady Courthouse. So maybe by the next show, I will have the definites on that. And then I have an event coming up, uh, Holston United Methodist Home Friends of the Children uh, Luncheon will be August the 15th, and I will have more information on that. Now, I want to remind you, and some of these events that I've told you about right now that I didn't have a whole lot of information on may be right here, www.clevelandchamber.com. And up in the upper left-hand corner, there's an icon that says One Calendar, One Community. You can click on that and find out the information about a lot of things that are put on there. You do not have to be a chamber member to list your activities or your events on that calendar. It's a great way for you to get that out information out to the community, and it's also a great way for you to find out events that are happening in the community. Now, I want to remind you all that they need volunteers for the Veterans Honor, Guy, Honor Guard, and the gentleman that were on here with me a couple of months ago said you did not have to be a veteran to do this, uh, but you might want to call Roy Smith, at 423-284-5224 or John Thomason at 423-476-2042. And that's for our Veterans Honor Guard that does the funerals for deceased veterans. Now, the Hiawassee River Rail has a lot of activities going on. And that phone number is 423-894-8028. Or you can check them out on tvrail.com. And I'll try to get them on with us because there'll be the fall color tour coming up. There'll be the Santa train coming up. There'll be a lot of events coming up 
on the Hiawassee Rail. And if you've never ridden a train, folks, it's a wonderful experience. I grew up riding the train. My grandfather, Poindexter, worked for the Ellenwood Railroad in Etowah for 50-plus years. He retired after 50, I think 52 years, maybe. We rode the train everywhere. We rode the train to the UT football games and got off at the terminal there and got a cab over to the stadium and came back. Of course, this is before the stadium held 200,000 people or whatever it holds. But anyway, rode the train to Cincinnati on vacation, rode the train to Withville, Virginia, on uh, visiting one of my college f uh, friends, uh, rode the train to Coney Island, rode the train anywhere that the train went, uh, a whole lot easier than taking a bus or driving on these vacations. So... So these train rides are wonderful experiences for kids. Now, Cleveland Reconnect, and I've tried to get them on, but they're so busy registering people for, for school coming up. But you can, uh, you can email nwilliams at clevelandstatecc.edu, or you can call 423-478-6217 to register for this Reconnect. And that's a program if you did not go to college, and you, you finished high school, maybe got married, had two or three kids. Now you need to go back and get a degree in nursing or a degree in business or a degree in something where you can make a living. Uh, welding, a degree in one of the great, uh, I call them CTE programs, that uh, career technical education programs, then this is a great opportunity for you because you can go to college for free. And this, this is wonderful. Now, I will tell you that the Bradley County Sheriff's Office has their summer camps July 16th through the 20th for 6th to 8th graders and the 23rd through the 27th through, for 3rd through 5th graders. And you can go by the Sheriff's Office to register or www.bradleysheriff.com. The doors open at 845 each morning and camp is from 9 until noon and they do feed lunch. So Adrian is telling me that I need to wrap it up. So I'm going to wrap it up. Folks, it's been a great day in Nancy's neighborhood. I hope you all appreciated everything that, that Jennifer from Junior Achievement had to tell you. And I will have Andrew Hunt on from the library in our next show to tell us things that are happening there. So for today from Nancy's neighborhood, you have a great day and enjoy this warm weather and dry, but I think the storms are coming back in tomorrow. So for today from Nancy's neighborhood, have a great day. Bye-bye.